how to make a booking website on Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a website on Canva and also create a booking website on it. It is very easy. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do right there is to visit canva.com. When you visit Canva, you need to create a website. How we can do that? Simply, we are going to search on the search bar right there and type website. Like that, website. Then we click on enter. Here it will let you see all the templates and also the themes that you can go ahead and modify them from, or you can go ahead and create one from scratch. I highly recommend you to use a preset or a pre-built theme or a template from here and then you can customize that because it has the basic or the uh, most uh, basic features that you can go ahead and put it on a website for example if i go ahead right there and set let's say maybe this one i'm going to set or search again for uh, let's say booking website and see if we have a template booking we are going to search for it and see if we have here as you can see we have some templates we have more than 20,000 templates so we can go ahead and use one of them as you can see here we have hotels like that we have a lot of them so I highly recommend you to use one of these for example like that I'm going to select this one so I'm going to customize this one. As you can see, it is a, a pro or a paid feature on Canva to use this specific uh, website. As you can see, we have some pages, we have some uh, themes, we have some etc. So I'm going to copy on uh, all of these, copy, paste them like that, and we are going to set this. So I'm going to see here if we can remove that computer. I'm going to uh, back right there into the, uh, the, the, the templates. So we don't need the computer. I don't know why it, they, has, they have put uh, the computer. So we are going to use another template. Let's use something like a booking one like this. Maybe like that, I'm going to click on customize and it is the same, so it doesn't matter. So we are going to set that. This is, I think the preview of that website on this specific one. So we are going to create multiple pages, maybe like that. So we are going to see here if we can go ahead and put it as a website. We are going to click on more Then we have the website. You can go ahead and create or convert it to a website. So we are going to convert it as a website like that. Now, all we need to do is to create the second page. For the first page here, we are going to set the name of our company. So we are going to set Jax, for example, Jax like that, booking. And we have here tours blog and in place of the blog i'm going to set rooms and here are going to set hotels or let's say resorts resorts and for doors we are going to set hotels hotels like that so everything is set you can go ahead and create a sign up button but in my case i will not do that because it is a little bit complicated. Here we have the search bar. We have also the destinations, which is uh, right there compatible. You can go ahead and create a text field from there. I'm going to add a text box like that. So you can go ahead and put it right there, put it modifiable, or you can create some field, text field, I think. And for here, you can go ahead and set those check in, check out guests, for example, this is just an example. So here, the second thing, which is going to be the hotels right there. This is the landing page only. Here we are going to set, for example, 
let's go ahead and add the this image i'm going to add it right there i don't know why but i like this image is looking right with the with the theme so i'm going to copy and paste it right there so for the second page i'm going to add some elements here i'm going to add a let's say here a shape and that particular shape i'm going to set a color for it for example we are going to head over and make this specific shape like that to demonstrate the features and also the offers that we are going to set let's go ahead and add for example right there frames or image frames like that frames i'm going to set frame and here we have some images frames like that go ahead and make like this one put it like that duplicate it put it like this for third time and now i am going to set a text box let's go ahead and add some headings like that put it a little bit smaller like that go ahead and duplicate that put it right there and finally like that you can go ahead and uh, customize those but in this one i'm going to set here uh let's say hotels for hotels we are going to set some pictures maybe i'm going to put this picture like that this one like this and this like that so we are going to set uh here resort or new york new york hotel here we are going to set portugal or well, not portugal but let's say washington hotel this is just an example that you can go ahead and set for yourself and here we are going to set a sweet family for example suit or suit like that and here we have it you can add some buttons uh, for example in here we are going to add some shapes these shapes can be uh, placed as buttons and i'm going to duplicate it put it right there i'm going to put the position of it to the backward like that make it a little bit bigger duplicate it for a third time cover this one put it like that finally position also backward let's go ahead and modify this like that and boom so now for the most important part here all we need to do is to create the booking events and also the booking reservations how we can do that i have an option and how we can add this option simply we are going to visit here elf site elf site is a widget creator that will help you create your own widget without coding so at the end of the process you will receive a code that you can go ahead and insert insert it into your website so we are going to click on widgets and then we are going to see here some forms and for that forms we are going to set a booking or appointment booking now we are going to choose a form and we are going to edit it so as you can see we have a haircut booking or booking form only so you can set this this is uh, with a no illustration but this has a illustration such as the address, the WhatsApp, the, uh, as you can see, Instagram, the physical address, the contact right there form, and also the opening uh, right there, uh, let's say dates and hours. So we are going to proceed with this one, or you can go ahead and set this. So let's go ahead and use this one. Continue with this template. For the picture right there, you can go ahead and modify the picture of this uh, person. For example, you can go ahead and remove it like that. You can add a picture. So right there, we have the service name. We have the description. Get a professional right here, man haircut. For the duration, you can go ahead and set a duration right there. Uh, and for the price you can go ahead and set it now 
here for the duration you can go ahead and make something else or you can delete that if you know how to set the uh, css codes for the hours you can go ahead and set the availability hours here we have the hours and days you can put a specific hours and days minimum advanced booking here one hour 24 hour for example and the max for the profile you can go ahead and set the profile show profile or business profile like that and here we have the picture as you can see we can go ahead and modify it go ahead and modify and put a, a hotel picture for example so i'm going to delete that upload and we are going to see for the downloads i'm going to download maybe a um, a picture later but it doesn't matter for now now i'm going to set here the uh, phone number for example 555 like that 555 i'm going to set this and boom whatsapp also like that and for this one like that here we are going to set jacks for example jacks booking i'm going to set the underscore like that where is the underscore booking like that for the address you can go ahead and put us uh, here the contact contact at jack booking jack's booking like that the website you are going to set the uh, website of canva you can go ahead and set that copy and cut it now for the design you can go ahead and design it like this with the booking button you can use the widget width like that the background text color accent color and etc notification right there you can set the booking confirmation to the client owner booking notification now for the integration you are going to set it for the google calendar you can go ahead and connect your google calendar then you are going to see the booking on a real time for the settings you can go ahead and modify the language if you know how to custom the css or the g or the javascript you can go ahead and modify something on it and here we have it so we are going to click on add to website for free then we need to uh, set let's say right there here we have it i'm going to click on publish so we are going to select the free plan since we have only the right to create one now here we have the embed code that we cannot unfortunately uh, place it in, in canva but we can go ahead and click on share link and copy that simple link we're going back right there to the uh, website that we have created so we are going to integrate it on the third page how we can do that we are going to click on apps on canva then we are going to type embed click on enter and here we have the app embed media into your design you are going to paste the link right there add it right there to the design and wait for it i'm going to make it bigger so like that and boom as you can see we have right there the appointment you can go ahead and make it a little bit smaller because this is uh, going to be scrollable so make it for the uh, the right like that right size of that website i'm going to delete that maybe also delete that specific frame put it like this and here we go so everything is set and the uh, as you can see the booking form is right here at the middle all we need to do is to click on publish website click on publish wait for the publishing process then we need to uh, view that specific website click on here here we have the first page here we have the uh, destination the illustration the second page and finally we have the booking process which is a elf site uh, right there widget so we have the information everything is clickable we have right there the dates and also the availability for example you can go ahead and set the name the phone number and the email then we are going to book that specific 
room or hotel don't forget to change uh, these for example from elite cuts right here we are going to set the uh salon or, or the hotel reservation for each one of them you can go ahead and link this page into the uh, buttons right there for each specific one and hide it from the beginning for example you can go ahead and click on edit design and for here we are going to link it let's go ahead and link this specific uh click into this one i'm going to modify it put it to the third page like that click on done and i'm going to republish that republish that so we are going to see if everything will goes well go back to the website and here when you click on it it will take you to the booking page and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content i hope to see you soon on the next one